Good morning. On this service call, this uh, cold and chilly November morning, uh, we're working on a Whale McLean EG45, 150,000 BTU, gas fired, single zone boiler. There's our single circulator. Behind that is our dual D&G pressure reducing and relief valve. The customer's complaint was no heat. Uh, the boiler was cycling on and off at temperature, but was not circulating. Some of this prior service history. Uh, what I found was that the pressure was very low on the system, like zero. Um, and the client advised me that last week, uh, one radiator on the second floor was not heating up, so we tried to bleed the radiator. Um, and he got a little bit of the quote-unquote gas with the air out, uh, but no water ever came out, but it started to work. Uh, so the pressure reducing valve uh, stuck closed and did not automatically refill. Uh, as soon as I hit the lever, which is that little red lever there, lift that up for a little bit to manually feed. Uh, it took in more water and it automatically turned off at around 12 and a half, 13 PSI of pressure. So on this service call uh, of no heat, the failed pressure reducing valve did not refill the system with pressure. Uh, luckily, uh, the boiler had some water uh, because this boiler from the mid 1980s because of that uh, White Rogers flame rectification uh, igniter and uh, gas valve. And that's from the mid 80s. Uh, they didn't have, install low water cutoffs back then. So luckily for this homeowner, the uh, system didn't uh, cause any property damage or physical harm to anyone. And uh, we just raised up that lever and we'll monitor that. If it um, acts up again, we're going to replace that dual pressure reducing valve with a single pressure reducing valve because they have one here on top of the boiler which is rated at 30 psi so you don't need two of them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe please. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Happy holidays.